The Chinese authorities are concerned about the dispatch of North Korean troops to Russia but are trying to hide it. One of the main problems for Beijing is the possibility of restoring the Cold War triangles, writes The Guardian. On Friday, a Chinese foreign ministry spokesman said Sending North Korean troops to Russia was their personal business, the newspaper recalled. Meanwhile, state media have remained silent on the issue. The publication noted that analysts noticed the concerns of the head of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping, after the dispatch of North Korean troops to the Russian Federation. This is connected with the ideology of China, within the framework of which Beijing works on a common destiny together with other countries. I'm not sure the Chinese government really believes what it says. Shen Dingli, a senior international relations scholar in Shanghai, China has repeatedly accused the United States of pursuing a new Cold War mentality toward its country, the publication emphasized. However, military cooperation between Russia and North Korea could lead to a new Cold War, in which China would also have to participate. This would make it more difficult for Beijing to balance between its strategic allies and its economic dependence on the United States and Europe. The problem is that this Cold War mentality is completely at odds with China's national interests. Today, China is not the China of the 1950s. For now, I think Beijing can continue to watch. We should be very careful, said Zhu Feng, Dean of the Institute of International Studies at Nanjing University. Tong Zhao, a senior fellow at the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, told reporters that Russia could try to challenge China for influence over North Korea, especially if Moscow helps Pyongyang with nuclear targets and long-range ballistic missiles. He stressed that China would not like that. If Moscow goes so far as to help Pyongyang's nuclear program, it would be a serious challenge to the international non-proliferation regime in which China has a significant stake. China now envisions a strategic coalition with Russia and North Korea, but with itself as the driver, fearing that either partner will take radical initiatives beyond its control. Earlier, former advisor to the US, Secretary of State Matthew Breiser, said that China feels strong discontent with the DPRK's deployment of troops to Russia. According to him, this could prompt the US and its partners to act more decisively. In addition, the Chinese foreign ministry said that it knew nothing about the transfer of North Korean troops to Russian territory. Beijing assured that it was in favor of de-escalating the war in Ukraine. Some Moscow residents reacted to news of Donald Trump's election win on Wednesday. Trump was elected the 47th president of the United States on Wednesday, an extraordinary comeback for a former president who refused to accept defeat four years ago, sparked a violent insurrection at the U.S. Capitol, was convicted of felony charges and survived two assassination attempts. With a win in Wisconsin, Trump cleared the 270 electoral votes needed to clinch the presidency. One Muscovite reacted with restraint to the election result saying that the new president would hardly mean a change in U.S. policy towards Russia. For Russia, it seems to me, this is neither good nor bad, but we are optimists, we hope that he is holding the vector towards stopping the bloodshed, said Maria Koroshilova. Trump, who has touted his good relationship with Russian President Vladimir Putin and called the Russian leader, pretty smart, for invading Ukraine has repeatedly criticized American backing of Ukraine. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov noted Trump's campaign statements about his intention to end wars, saying that those were important statements, but now after the victory, while getting ready to enter the Oval Office or entering the Oval Office, statements could sometimes change. We will thoroughly analyze everything, watch everything and will make conclusions based on concrete words and concrete steps, Peskov said. I don't think it's entirely straightforward to expect that Trump will deliver Ukraine to Russia the way that some people might expect," Sam Green, director of Democratic Resilience at the Center for European Policy Analysis, said in an interview to AP on Wednesday. Green said that surrendering Ukraine to Russia might mean loss of political capital for Trump. 
Итак, 47-м президентом США станет Дональд Трамп. Несмотря на то, что подсчет бюллетеней еще окончательно не завершен, необходимую отметку в 270 голосов выборщиков он уже преодолел. Победу на выборах Трампу принес штат Висконсин, где Камала Харрис лишилась всяческих шансов. Были заявления, которые, в которых речь шла о его мирных устремлениях на международной арене. О его устремлениях на то, чтобы прервать вот эту вот спираль и, и тотальную политику нацеленную на продолжение старых войн и развязывание новых войн. Да, это заявление достаточно важное, но теперь уже после победы, собственно, готовясь войти в овальный кабинет или войдя в овальный кабинет, вот иногда заявление приобретает другой тон, и поэтому мы говорим что мы тщательно все анализируем, наблюдаем за всем и будем делать выводы по конкретным словам и конкретным шагам. Russian television has been for a very long time talking about uh, Trump as a repudiation and, and, and the selection as the opportunity for repudiation of Biden and everything that he stands for, particularly support for uh, for Ukraine. Um, we'll see how long that lasts because I don't think it's entirely straightforward to expect that uh, that Trump will deliver Ukraine to Russia the way that some people might uh, might expect. He likes to engage in deals, but he needs to get something out of that deal. Uh, and it's not clear to me what Putin can put on the table that would make a, a resolution of, 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 of the conflict in Ukraine palatable to both of those men uh, in their own political context. And it's not clear to me that Trump would be willing to take the loss of political capital uh, in, in Washington and on Capitol Hill that would come from uh, essentially surrendering Ukraine to, to the Russians. Uh. Настолько серьезный аппарат власти, который его просто может ну, диктовать условия ему в том числе, мне так кажется. Поэтому навряд ли что-то серьезное изменится. Неплохо, нехорошо, но мы, мы оптимисты, надеемся на то, что он в общем, поддержит вектор в сторону э, прекращения э, кровопролития. Это ему тоже неинтересно, потому что он э, видит, что мир катится в бездну. Да без разницы. Они все говорят одно, делают другое. Поэтому время покажет, что там, чего, кто был прав, кто не прав. Ну, выбрали, выбрали. Нормальный выбор, их страна.